Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. I come to you uh, with my head on of Jesus to my rescue. A wonderful organization. I'm honored and blessed to serve. I want to bless you today with uh, a verse, uh, Jeremiah 12, verse 5. And it reads as follows. If you have run with men and they have worn you out, how can you compete with horses? You see here, uh, in the first four verses, Jeremiah is complaining, he's praying, and in his prayer he's complaining. And God is coming here with an answer. God is saying, if you have run with men and they've worn you out, how can you compete with horses and Today in our society, we see it all over the world. Our people have problems, they complain. Today, I want to tell you if you're going through very difficult time in your life, or very, very difficult time in your ministry, Jeremiah has gone through some intense suffering and persecution and and calling the people of uh, Jerusalem and Judah is calling them to repentance. And today I want to call even myself and you to repent repentance. And when we repent, God will listen to us. God responded by saying that battles await you, Jeremiah. If you think that what you've been through, you know, it's, it's heavy, it's intense, I want to tell you today that there are more severe battles waiting for us. But God is the answer. I believe God wants us to see our present suffering as a testing ground. You know, is. He's testing us. If I look last year, last night I was at a house where a 24-year-old boy was shot. Uh, last week also the same. And in Delft, many young boys, uh, they kill one another. Delft, Happy Valley, you know, gangsterism is the order of the day. Teenage pregnancy, drugs. But I'm telling you today that the present suffering is a testing ground for the future you know for greater spiritual warfare which has to come i think jeremiah got frustrated in this challenge and so many of us today we got we are frustrated all i can say to my friends and my family you know sometimes they lovingly frustrate me God wants to give us greater confidence in the midst of our suffering. The problem is not our family, it's not our friends, but sometimes it is a problem with our thick heads and our cold hearts and not seeing the future. For whatever reason, this time the Word of God breaks through and it says, Let's run with horses and, and make it. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. But when it doesn't make sense, trust God. Don't try. Trust God in the midst of your pain, you know, in the midst of your circumstances. Trust God. See your own suffering as preparation for the future. Preparation for the future. God will meet you in the hour of your darkest need. You know, I look at, at, at Nelson Mandela, I look at uh, Martin Luther King, and uh, they were men that were running with horses. They have suffered greatly. Uh, I mean, the 27 years in prison, Martin Luther King, you know, call the nation, call the church to repentance, to sin, 
you know, that is associated with, with racism. You know, in Martin Luther King, he cried out before God and God comforted King in a supernatural way. Uh, you know, and, and, and today I want to say that God's going to comfort you in a supernatural way. You know, as a result, uh, that you will be able to run with horses. Most likely, we will never experience the suffering of Jeremiah, of uh, even Nelson Mandela, 27 years in prison, and Martin Luther King. But we can experience the mercy of God, the glory of God, God who will strengthen us to meet our challenge that He placed before us. Don't settle for running simply with men. Run with horses. God bless you. We love you. All the best.